we're talking about chipping off tight lies, especially into the grain. Are you one of those people that hit it fat and then your thin one? You're not sure why? I'm gonna give you a couple of pointers on how to fix this. Okay, you got two options with these shots. You got two clubs. You got a lob wedge, 58 degrees. You got a gap wedge or a sand wedge, 54 degrees. Now, what I do on these tight lies is I do not use the lob wedge. I use the sand wedge or the gap wedge. Now, what we do in this situation is we have the club face opening up because the reason we do this is for the tight lie makes the ball slide up the face. Now, if you've got too much loft, that ball slides up the face, you don't get enough friction, comes up short. So what we need to do is go down the club, a little bit less loft, open it up slightly. We're gonna change a few things in that setup to combat that tight shot. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification, you will get a video every Tuesday. It varies each week. So, the fundamentals of this chip shot. 20 meter shot. Put the club in between your heels this way. This is the width of stance you need. You're going to have 60% of the weight on your front foot and you are going to have that club face slightly open. Now, this ball position, because it's off a tight lie, we want to move it one rotation forward. We're going to have the club slightly behind the ball this way so now the handle is almost level with the ball what we want to do is return the club back to that position if you have a square club face everyone's seen that one before haven't they it digs in doesn't go anywhere so what we are trying to do is we're using the bounce the bounce back of the club is your friend on this shot so we're going to have the ball slightly forward Hands in line with the ball, swinging the arms back, letting the club head fall down. Don't try and drag the handle here, and then the knees collapse. Let the club fall down, and the body rotate through. Now you're gonna finish on your left leg, and you're gonna finish tall like this. The key thing for it is getting the setup correct. If you do not get that right, you are working hard to hit the ball. So, ball position. That's the sound of the stance, so we're going to go slightly forward. Club face slightly open, hands in line with the ball. Now we're trying to return the club back to there. And we're finishing on a taller chest up, pelvis up position. We're not down here chasing the ball, so we're allowing the club to do the work. As you see, I haven't forced the shot. I've kept it simple. If you're struggling with this shot, send me a message and we'll help you out.